You call that excavation? I've watched snail mucus ooze faster than that. Move! I didn't chase an entire troop of bandits out of this backwater garbage heap just to enjoy the scenery. All our endeavors and not a scrap of progress to show for it. Nothing to rival my brother's accomplishments. No hope to vie for mother's affection. Double our head count. Find anyone willing to hold a spade. I'll handle their wages. Dire news, my lord. It's the rebels. And they're coming our way. Another fly in the oft-infested ointment, hmm? That's not all, my lord. It seems Prince Elaine's the one leading their host. Well, now that changes things. Perhaps this fly could prove a feast instead. These upstart halfwits truly think they can challenge the might of Zenoira. Felling their feeble resistance should prove a simple task and earn me some much deserved glory besides. And Mother will have no choice but to be pleased with me. Move to intercept. These Cretans will burn brighter than the midday sun. Familiar taste of failure. So, this is how it ends. Pitifully, without a single word of praise in all my years. Was it really so much to ask? Apparently so. My ashes will scatter like dust to the wind, and what little I've amounted to in this life will go with them. <clears throat> What do you propose we do with him, your highness? Sorcerer Ash, I'd ask you to lend us your craft in the days ahead. Come again? Take arm with the liberation. Hurl your magics in the name of good. You want... me? I surely needn't remind you where my allegiances lie and how swiftly I fell in opposing your army. I've done no great deeds, earned no distinctions amongst my peers, and the craft you speak of is just a pale imitation. It's sad, but true. Not even my own mother could find it in her heart to love a boy as miserable as me. Wallow in self-pity if you will, but the struggle to come demands a great breadth of perspectives and aptitudes. Your survey of these ruins is evidence enough that such scholarly prowess would surely aid our legion. You'll never win, you know. Galerius could crush this so-called liberation with both arms bound behind his back. I dare say you're right, were we to face him now. But our numbers grow stronger, larger, with every passing day. Numbers I would like to count you among. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't appealing. It's a curious thing, this marvel we call life. My staff is yours to command, Elaine. Your Highness, that is. And when you think about it, there could be no greater feat the world over than bringing Zenoira to its knees. Perhaps that will be how I finally earn my mother's approval. This wasn't an outcome I envisioned when I stepped out of my tent this morning, but it may be just the one I've waited for.
Yes, yes, go on. Claim this is about a covenant or what have you. I know you've only asked me here so you can pull me aside for a good scolding. Sorry, I think there's been a mistake. <sighs> well, I suppose that's a relief then. Prayers for the poor soul he meant to summon. Yes, yes, go on. Claim this is about a covenant or what have you. I know you've only asked me here so you can pull me aside for a good scolding. I'd like you to have the ring of the maiden. <clears throat> Sorry, you... what? I've heard legends of that ring. How betraying its union will get you struck down by the very heavens themselves. Tis no legend, but truth. Yet in return, it will unleash the Ring of the Unicorn's full power, thereby enabling us to smite Galerius once and for all. And you, Osh, are the only one I can ask to accept it. I... can't believe this. Have I finally found it, Mother? Finally discovered my purpose on this cruel earth. Very well, Elaine. I've reason to believe that ring of yours represents my life's calling. My answer is yes. I had the utmost faith it would be. Thank you, truly. I'll treasure this moment for as long as we live. As will I, but I do have one request. Would you mind complimenting me every now and then? Maybe once a day? Or constantly, perhaps? Majesty, but how? Mother! No! I won't lose you again! <laughs> oh, but you shall. How does it feel? Hmm? Your dear mother, slain by your own hand! What's happening to me? Helene! <laughs> Your Highness! Ah, uh, what a poor fool he was. Doomed to the same fate as the pitiful queen before him. I've seen much sorcery in my life, but never one as horrid as this. His strength surpasses even Elenius. The might of the Unicorn runs deep in his veins. Return him at once, demon, or face my wrath! <laughs> Strike at this new body of mine, if you dare. You'd simply be volunteering your own as my next vessel. The ring is mine to command. And a futile demise is all that awaits you now. No. Why must it end this way? <laughs> Finally realized, have you? None can ever hope to halt my designs. I'll bow for you. How can I possibly do this on my own? This day is won by my hand, and the grandest of rights shall soon be upon us. Worry not. You'll make a fine Zenoiran vessel once it is. What do I do, Elaine? Please, just tell me the answer. Enough. Can't you see it's over? Why? 
Why does it hold such vast energy? Is it really you? Yes, of course it is. You're still in there, striving to break free. As you should. I'm not ready to lose you, Elaine. Nor will I ever be! Hilarious. You saw in Fevreth's innocent people mere vessels to house your own fallen empire. But as long as I live and breathe, you'll never inflict such callous devastation on our world. How do you know of that? Piteous ghost of an age long past. I shall grant your soul the freedom it desires. You will not! <laughs> Steady now. He means to fight. My brethren were robbed of their corporeal flesh, left to wander in the void of nothingness for 800 years. Their pain is my strength, and my body, their fury given form. While the souls of Shinoira remain trapped in the beyond, their emperor shall never know <laughs> defeat. Your majesty. Baltro! How goes the right? Flawlessly. We lack but a single soul to complete the spell. Then these insects shall be more than enough. Grant me your strength, and we'll stamp them out together. I think not, tyrant! What do you think you're doing? Apologies if I wasn't clear, Your Majesty. The last soul the Sigil seeks is none other than yours. Traitorous fool. Finally gone senile. Mm -hmm. Is that you, Mother? Your Majesty. But how? Mother! What fortuitous news! She's alive! Speak to me, please! Joseph, see my mother somewhere safe. And you, your highness? We end this long-drawn war, here and now. Do you hear that, mother? The prince and I shall save the world! Come home, both of you. What primitive evil should I reanimate next, I wonder? A monster capable of crushing Fevrith beneath its heel, perhaps? Your cruelty has plagued these lands for far too long, but that ends now! Spirits of Zenoira, hear my call. Your Emperor is no more, and in his place, a tyrannical fiend who craves nothing but absolute control. Tell me, is this what you truly desire? to sacrifice your very essence in service of this demon. Perfetic child. Souls of the departed, if you've any humanity left within you, lend me your aid! <laughs> oh! Their strength is leaving me! You've ruined everything! A cursed fool! 
These souls are not a power one can wield, Baltro. They are human lives, human will in its purest form. Impossible! The city's very nature has been recast! How is this happening? It appears we arrived just in time. This isn't how my tale concludes. I won't allow it! The only escape awaiting you, Ultra, is death's cold embrace. Wretched disciples! You dare turn on your master! The time has come, Ali. Let us lift the curse of the Unicorn and bring the salvation of heaven to these lost souls! It would be an honor. <laughs> my ability beckons. All of my knowledge, all of my research, lost to the endless emptiness of time. <laughs> Soul to have ever lived.